Um, she started out as an idea. I think they miscast it. And then it seems like 80% of it was supposed to be about his sister and their version of the Ten Rings. Obviously, with so many things happening, and of course, the revamp, I don't think Shang-Chi and now maybe the Agents of Atlas, which is basically a S.H.I.E.L.D. wannabe... I don't, I don't know where that franchise is going, or much less... Not, it's easy to say, who asked for this? But much less, does anybody want to see this? It, Kevin's just throwing it up on the wall, and is it for diversity? I doubt that very much. It's because these projects have time, uh, a lifespan. And Sean Chi, the guy was in Barbie. You can't even run on that anymore. Barbie was now almost two summers ago. You know, the agents of Atlas. We were never ever introduced to the Atlas agents. I don't know. What do you, what do you think about the Sean Chi franchise? It's stuck. I think it's stuck. I, think I said in my last, I said in the last show. I said it's got. I think it's become conspicuous that there hasn't been a single hint of him, cameo by him in a credit scene or on a Disney Plus show. There's it just. It's like he doesn't exist. Um, and I, I'm starting to question where that tension is coming from. Like it felt like for a while, you know, Destin Cretton was like a favorite son at Marvel. Yeah. Like he had integrated well, he makes the movie, it's well received, you know, all things considered, it did pretty well at the box office with some theaters closed. You know, he gets the assignment for Kang Dynasty. You know, he's he's working on Wonder Man. Like it feels like he's kind of one of the guys. And then all of a sudden it just felt like it started to pivot and go the other way. And now it kind of feels like even if Wonder Man ever does get made, which I guess it's already mostly been shot, like it feels like Destiny yeah. Trenton's participation in the MCU is pretty much done. And so like with him kind of goes, Shang-Chi kind of goes into like the blade bucket of like, what do you do with it? Like the character exists, but um, alluded to, yeah, like we don't know the behind the scenes stuff. Like we talked about the China, China issue with Simu Lu, like leading up to the first film and like, did that yeah. matter? Did it not matter? And like, you know, it seemed like it didn't. And like now at least I'm floating it as like, maybe it did more than we knew. It's it's ironic. Cause like the, you know, coming out of that movie, like the person who wound up winning and blowing up was Aquafina. I mean, you can't go anywhere without seeing her. I mean, like yeah, yeah, yeah. animated live action. I mean, she's just minting money. Um, but yeah, from, from all the stuff we heard where they almost wanted Shang-Chi to seemingly be like the new Steve Rogers type leadership role to now like the character basically it's like in an Elseworlds. Like I, you know, I, I, I'm not optimistic. And if they announced it at like D23 in 2026, I don't think there's any buzz, any buzz. And like, the, I don't think they'd be better off just like keeping it quiet, wait for the reset, get a new director, new star, new writer 10 years later and just act like the first one didn't happen. Because if Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. can't seemingly come back Agents of Atlas, and I've said it publicly, I think we need to go with an infinity, an infinity formula, Nick Fury, and let's move on from Mr. Jackson, and let's get something else going. They, I, Gentlemen, I think a overhaul revamp needs to come out of Secret Wars. I don't know. Yeah, that's what's... It, that's... Well, they... It's interesting, because like I like Shang-Chi, I think, better than you guys do, but it's interesting that like the choices they made are very specific, right? So they were like, they chose Jackie Chan homage. That's what they wanted to do. They chose sort of the mystical side of sort of Far East culture as something they wanted to put on screen. That's why you got the third act that you got. But it was interesting. Now this, they wouldn't do this type of movie as a Shang-Chi, but I remember when I was sitting in the theater watching Monkey Man and I was like, this isn't a great movie, but there's a whiff in here of very conscious Bruce Lee homage that Dev yes. Patel was trying to achieve where I was like, this would have been the other route, like a harder action streets, Kung Fu, work your way up the building, fight the boss in very stylized Pablo rooms of that. combat. Like that Pablo would have been that. the other way this and is they didn't do it. So that's why, you know, I'm, I don't hate what they did, but I'm like, if they wanted to sit it out and reset it, Maybe they should revisit a P a hard PG-13 version of that as a way to restart the character and see if people like it. 
Some of the elements were, were key. The father running away, the son running away from the father, but they just, they just skewed left and the sister took over and the, not saying well, she, you can't have those elements, but here's the problem. The lead character, I have to be interested in. I, 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 well, I, I need to really want to see him. I'm more interested in seeing Moon Knight than seeing Sean Chi. They did a seemingly serviceable series with Moon Knight. It was serviceable. You can't keep throwing projects on the wall, just like you said about Wonder Man. We all love Yaya. Did I really necessarily want to see this? My prediction is I don't think Wonder Man's going to do well. No, I don't think so either. I think, look, the formula they were trying for in Shang-Chi was clearly the same one they tried for with Chris Hemsworth in the sense of a sort of lesser known lead and we're going to put legendary acting around him. And in Hemsworth's case, it paid off because he turned out to be a talented enough actor and a versatile enough actor to play the role. Comedic, dramatic. It took him a while to find the right tone for that character. And you could argue that they've then lost the tone for that character. Yeah. But I think in this case, Simu Liu, he had a tough time. But the reality is like, if you're on screen with Michelle Yeoh, you're going to have a tough time. Like if you're, you know, the people that he was sharing the screen with, like you got to stand up tall in those scenes. And he, I don't, when you walked out of the movie, you're kind of like, I don't know that he got there. He was the weak link. Things. For Shang Chi character, it would have been less. Less is more. Sort of approach would have been better. And the thing that the things that helped Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, and all these other guys is that they were in other movies, and that when they came, it came up to their turn for their own film, the numbers grew. With Shang Chi, we haven't gotten any of that. So we're definitely, I think, going to perhaps. Either see Simu Liu. Listen, if Simu Liu is in a, an Avengers film and China's trying to be like, we're not showing, you know what I'm saying? If, if it gets down to that, I don't know if, 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 if he, he makes a cut. And I see after Secret Wars with this reset that we've been talking about, that that would be the, the, his, his run. That would, that would have been his last and only. Um, participation in the MC. I think but, uh, the gentleman who played Michelle Yao's son in the brother's son on the Netflix series would have been a better Sean Chi. Uh, the ch chair leg. Yes. Yes. Would have been. It would have been lights out espionage. What's it? What's his one? Nine. It's the a Netflix. Netflix series. They canceled it after one season, but but the guy who plays Charles' son, yeah, his two brothers. What's the name of it? Two one brothers. Is, the brothers. Yeah. Thumb. S the brother's son, S-U-N. And like one's like a super nerdy, like scientific guy. And the other one is like this hard, like kind of gangster. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He's he's good. I remember seeing the show and I was like, that guy needs to be signed by somebody to do and something. And he went for the role. Kevin said no. That's when I said, when you go Hollywood and you bypass. Wow. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. But yeah, let us know in the comments section below. Um, this is definitely going to be an interesting conversation that I put up to for you guys to sort of chime in on. Uh, but let us know in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah!